For the last few days, I've been feeling really under the weather. There's something quite wrong with my stomach, and it meant that I never get enough sleep. And I've been waking up really late in the afternoon, staying inside, and that had to change. So I decided to go for my first camping adventure of the season. I loaded up all my camping equipment onto this small scooter. Tomorrow is actually my birthday, which will be the day this video goes out, and I got some new camping equipment and a tent as a gift a little bit early when I said that I wanted to go on this little trip. Crossing this bridge, I noticed that off to the right was a rail trestle which had many osprey nests on it. So I pulled off to the side of the road, got out my camera, and took some video of these pretty fantastic birds. I got a little bit lost trying to find the campsite. The instructions I had were a little old, roads had been changed, and I ended up going back and forth, up and down the correct road, then the wrong road, then the correct road again. But because it was such a great day out and the roads were relatively free of potholes for the most part, it was a lot of fun. I did eventually find the campsite. It was a small pull-off off the, an old logging road directly next to a whitewater creek. Of course, the first thing I did was set up a hammock so that I could relax and enjoy the rest of the afternoon sun before finally actually getting down and setting up my campsite. I got this small miniature camping stove uh, as one of the gifts for my birthday and I've used these things before. They're really great and I really enjoy using them. They're really quick to use and you get your dinner and your coffee or whatever you're making done pretty quickly and it's so small that it can just go in the backpack and not take up any room which on such a small motorcycle makes a big difference. There was plenty of dry brush, which was kind of surprising considering how close we were to the river, but I got a small fire going, which was just in time as it was getting dark, and it allowed me to enjoy my meal in a wonderful ambiance. There's this small Buddha statue that was directly next to the campsite, and I took that opportunity to set up a small altar for a ritual that I'd planned for that evening. Now, unfortunately, this is where things went a little bit sideways. The air mattress that I had had a leak in it, which meant that it wouldn't hold air. I ended up sleeping on hard, uneven, rocky ground, and I was unable to sleep for more than 45 minutes at a time. Uh, eventually, it got really bad, so I decided to try and go and sleep in the hammock. So I bundled up wearing two different outerwear jackets and my sleeping bag, and I climbed into the hammock. And I was able to get some sleep, but I was directly next to the river, which was quite loud, and it was very cold. There was no way for me to really 
um, hide from the wind that was coming off the river. So this really did kill my desire to film any more of this adventure. I was really quite tired, so as soon as the sun hit the lowest point in the sky, I was back on the scooter and headed back home where I crashed and slept for about 12 hours. Even so, I really enjoyed this small adventure. The day was absolutely beautiful, and there were some of my favorite wildflowers and plants at the campsite. I even managed to find a little bit of broadleaf plantain, which is one of my favorite plants. Wonder where I've seen that before. So all told, I still really did enjoy this, and I will be going back out, but this time I think I'll buy a better mattress.